For myself and many other young people, owning a home seems like a less and less likely opportunity in our lives. So what better way to navigate those emotions surrounding the fact that we'll probably have to rent our entire lives than play an app simulating owning a home. Also, being in love. You might look at me and go, wow, Mary's wearing a cozy sweater. She has a mug. She must be drinking something delightfully cozy. And then it's just like the most neon green beverage you could possibly drink. been in love. Today's app that we're going to be checking out is called Pocket Love. This is an adorable app made by Hyper Beard Games. Let's go look at their website real quick. Here's their website. It looks very, very cute. They make little games big. It's just a little game in a big world. Pocket Love is, I believe, the latest one that they've came out with, but they have a number of different ones. Axolotls? Chicken? Um, Cat Spa also looks really cute. I was considering checking it out. It's kind of similar, it looks like, to the Resortopia game I just played, though, but with cats. But Pocket Love, um, first of all, a little, like, moment of queer representation? I don't know, it's kind of fun. Uh, the description for this is shrink down to pocket size and move into a cute new home with your partner and your favorite pet. Everything is more adorable when it's little and you and your partner are no exception. Sounds so cute, it looks so cute. It looks like it's like a decoration, simulation, making a cute house sort of game. I love that sort of thing. I think this looks really cute. I wanna fall in love and own a house and a pet with my partner. I feel like that is the dream. I'm dreaming. None of this is real. It is 9.30 p.m. We're doing some late night filming today. Uh, but let's go ahead and check it out. I'm, I feel like a, a gamer grandma. Back in my day, I am 25. Ooh, there we go. It's a secret, everybody. Don't spoil it for everyone else. Oh, that was louder than I thought it would be. I gotta customize my character. Okay, Um. well, right now I have a ponytail side bang going on. So like, this feels pretty accurate. And then I'm pretty pale. Maybe like that color-ish. All right, and then I can make my partner and they're all gender neutral. So they can really be just like whoever. Okay, let's go. Let's just make a cute little friend. A cute little friend. Um, that's quite pale. Oh my god, okay, we'll go with that one. They'll, I'll just name them partner. No! I skipped through the pet creation part. I don't get to make Muska because I was foolish. This is the worst. Finally, we're here, our new house. You, you see all the people live in your dream, you know, and it like pulls at your heartstrings. A cozy place in a quiet neighborhood? I'm loving it already. Let's unpack. <gasps> I'm so jealous. Okay. Okay, so we gotta unpack. <gasps> this box animation is so cute. Succulents have risen in popularity ever since millennials realized how easy they are to care for. That's not a succulent, is it? That looks like a like a full-on leafy friend. I've had my fair share of succulents. I've murdered my fair share of succulents. <laughs> what puff slack and lumbar support they make up for in pure chillaxitude. I have a bull chair. I feel like that has the same energy. It's not realistically the most like supportive, but it's great for when you want to turn into soup. You, be, you become soup in the bowl chair. Store your clothes in this drawer and light it on fire. All right, let's move them around to make some space. <gasps> Wait, so I can click on this and then I can... Oh, it's telling me specifically where to put this. <laughs> this is how your home shall be. Okay, you know, nice place. No bed, no food, but we got the we got the plant, so. So I was thinking, we have a new place, but old furniture? <gasps> Ikea trip? You know, we have some leftover money after buying a house. These people are rich. These people, <laughs> well, I don't know what job they work in, but it's not my job. <laughs> Let's order a new bed for amazing, <laughs> amazing. <laughs> you 
it's amazing. Hop on. Wow, they really have all the furniture, all of it. Three different colors of bed. I feel like I like the green the best. If you can't see behind me, my bedding is gray, green, and pink. So I feel like green is kind of the closest. Oh, there is a pink bed, but that's like a, like a salmon-y pink. I think it's cute. It looks very modern and clean. All of this animation is so cute. I should quickly say the art style is just so adorable. And I like the music. I like the sounds. Perfectly suitable for a comfy night's sleep. <gasps> nice pick, babe. Where should we put it? Anywhere. Oh, it magically got added. Okay, perfect. Good bet. Nice bed. There's a package outside. Let's go check it out. It could be our exclusive subscription box. I love subscription boxes. I'm not allowed to buy them anymore because I never really get stuff I want, but I love the mystery. Oh, we got a little bed for our cat, our unnamed cat. Okay, so we have a little white cat. What do y'all think a little, like a good name for a little white cat would be? I always think Snowball. They could be a snowball. Little Flufferbot. <laughs> Look at that fluff ball. That's love at first nap. <laughs> Cuteness overload. I gotta snap a picture. This is so adorable. Wow. Oh my god. Look at, Look at the dog and the cat. They're so cute. It's all so cute. <sighs> I'm so hyped with all the moving. I can smell my enthusiasm. That's just sweat. I feel you. I'm also very sweaty after the moving. I think we better... We get to change our outfits, get some ourselves new some clothes. I read that all sorts of wrong. Awesome selection. What's the special surprise? Babe, we should check it out. Okay, babe, whatever you say. I feel like I've never had someone call me babe so many times in my life. Preppy casual, cute. We love a gingham plaid collared shirt moment. Now I just need to try it on. Okay, how do I dress? Ooh, a little customization moment. So you can change your hair and change your outfit. So fun. Oh my god, I look amazing. Wait, let's chill for a bit. Pocket Love is a game that's all about adorable decorations and sharing those decorations with the world. Visit the amazing store to buy furniture and customize your home. Okay, so... I think we're done with the tutorial, which means I get to pick my outfit. This one looks like tie-dye. I love tie-dye. So I get a daily reward for logging on and I get boxes every once in a while. Wow, it's just like real life where I also just <gasps> randomly receive boxes. This is so cute. It feels disrespectful stepping on it. Oh my God, the frog floor mat. That's great. That looks like it should go in a bathroom though. Have like a little froggy bathroom moment. Trash man. Is your house getting cramped? Too many chairs in storage? Oh. Add? Oh, so I can s sell stuff to them. Kevin, what is this? Add. Oh, it's literally watching an ad. Game of, gang of con- games of cons. Sounds good. <gasps> Pocket surprise, white day garden. Oh, I can get a free thing? Oh my god, they do collections! <gasps> you know who also did collections like this? Pet Society. The game, the graphics, <laughs> it's a little bit broken. That's okay though. This is cute, this little flower heart tree thing. Very cute, it can go in that corner. Wait, what else can I get for free? What else you got for me? White day surprise? Look at this kitchen stuff. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, so White Day, if anybody doesn't know, I just learned about this recently. The graphics really don't want to fully behave. That's such a cute fridge. Uh, White Day is a tradition in, I believe, Japan and some other countries where um, on Valentine's Day, typically women give chocolate to men in the, oh no, what? On Valentine's Day, men give chocolate to women, and then on White Day, women give it back to men. Yes. Except what I think is all of the tropes I've seen in anime, it's always girls giving chocolates to the guys. So like, I don't know, I feel like somebody's getting double chocolates out of the situation somehow. Look at this, oh my god. Okay, so if you don't know how these like box things work, um, 
Pet Society did them as well, where it's just like, they'll be themed items, but you won't know what one you get, so you have to pay for the boxes, and sometimes you'll get doubles, so it's basically gambling. I really like them. <laughs> it's really cute. I love different themed sets, and it is nice when they do that, like, oh, you get one, for, you know, for free thing. Ooh, did I level up? Okay, so as you level up, you unlock new things in the store. That's fun. Ooh, Hinamatsuri. This looks cute. Oh, so I got a uh, tatami mat flooring. Okay, I mean, I don't really have the correct... Uh, I'm, I am putting a fridge straight on tatami mat. Don't really think you're supposed to do that. St. Patrick's Day. Well, I'm just really going through all of these. I'm having the time of my life. <laughs> wow, that'll go perfect. I'm creating the perfect help. Oh my god, there's so many. Women's Day. So purple. Oh nice, sisterhood forever. That'll, that'll go great, we'll put that over the bed. <laughs> yeah, so I actually am starting my own design show and it's called Mary Does Whatever She Wants. Uh, look out for it on HGTV. I watched so much HGTV as a kid. No, I was not a lonely kid, what are you talking about? I want that bear bed. All right, everybody send out good bear bed energy. Okay, well that's kind of cuter than the St. Patrick's Day wall, so I'm not mad about it. <laughs> I'm also going to change my floor back to what it was before, just because I feel like that looks a little bit better. And then it looks like this thing goes every 10 minutes. You get another free item. So it really wants you to, to keep playing, and then you have the opportunity to watch an ad to get some more, but like, I don't wanna watch ads. <laughs> I'm trying, yeah, I'm trying to go as far as I can without watching ads. Okay, so I have one more cute living room set. Okay, from this, I would love to get that bunny TV. Give me the bunny TV. Okay, little uh, sugar aroma wafts from this puff. It's, I don't know <laughs> how I feel. Let's check out. It's full of amazing furniture. Oh, so you can refresh it and then it'll automatically refresh every five hours, it looks like. Yeah, you have to pay if you want to refresh it again. So I guess like this is a nice game that you can kind of like hop into every once in a while. I like the wooden shelf. We'll go ahead and get that. I also like the fireplace, but I feel like it doesn't match the vibe of the space. Books on top of the bed. You know, Design, it's really good to like create hazards in your life. <laughs> Just put bookshelves directly over your bed. Very safe. Very safe. I would know. Some flies? Oh, I can kill them. <laughs> I cleaned the streets all right. I'm just running around at night smacking flies for coins. This is an adorable house, may I say. Can I move my poor people around? They're just like standing. Babe, have you met the amazing delivery boy? He's kind of freaky. What are you talking about? Amazing does deliveries via drone. Oh, <laughs> is there some lore here maybe? Wow, <laughs> don't you love it when your partner just stands <laughs> turned away from you <laughs> when you take a photo? It's great. Well, I find all of this frankly delightful. <laughs> I would like to live in this game. Standing's great, but I can't wait for my next sit down. How do I make them sit? How do I make them... Can I make them sit? I don't think there's much more to it than this. I think you really just gotta wait around to either get like your special items or refresh things and buy new things. I guess you sell things if you get stuff you don't want. You can buy a new room eventually. I don't quite have enough money for that yet. Um, yeah, this seems pretty cute. This seems like a fun little app. You could hop into every once in a while, enjoy some game time, hang out with your computer partner, enjoy living in a home, an experience many of us will probably never get to have. If any of you want me to one day have a house, make sure that you like this video and subscribe so maybe one day I can afford to, to buy a house. 
Yeah, overall I found this really adorable. I think this is a game I'll probably get on my phone and play myself because it seems like a good one I can hop in and out of. I did have to watch some ads to get some free stuff. Um, that's not a huge deal for me because as many of you know, I don't mind watching ads because they give me content for videos, but I know not everybody feels that way. But this just seems like a nice like, oh my God, it's my lunch break. Let me just like boop, 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 boop around on the phone for a little bit and make a cute house. Uh, I love the art style on this. I'm excited to see kind of more of the designs that they end up making or the different themed things. I don't think I'd buy the boxes just because that is a great way to get suckered into spending a lot of money on these apps. All right, well, that's all for today. If you all enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a like, subscribe. If you would like to see more, tell me what color you would want to paint your house if and when you own a house. Be sure to join the Discord if you'd like to receive alerts for any time I go live on Twitch or post on YouTube. Thank you to my Twitch subs for sponsoring this video. You're all looking very beautiful today. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.